welcome back guys uh, now I am on I have the outline of this course where in the first lecture we have installed the tools I mean the notepad plus plus and the Zem software now in this lecture we'll start practically working in PHP basically and we'll learn basic PHP syntax so I have this notepad plus plus open so the first thing to understand is that you can write PHP uh, script or code inside HTML without HTML or inside JavaScript uh, sorry inside JavaScript you cannot write but you can write JavaScript inside PHP so wherever you want outside the HTML code or inside the HTML code or without HTML code wherever you want you can write so the basic syntax for writing PHP is to start with this list then sign uh, or you can say the bracket and then the question mark and then after that just again the question mark sorry you have to write PHP like this this list then sign and then the question mark and then the PHP word itself and after that you have to add again the question mark and then the greater than sign or you can say the bracket so this is the PHP starting and closing tags these two are the tags so inside this tags you can write whatever you like so basically first of all we need to actually save this page control s to save okay and inside the I mean we'll go to my computer local this C and then basically there is a folder called Zem. so we have to save all of our files basically the PHP files that we want to actually access and execute the scripts so we cannot actually save them on the desktop or anywhere you know in our computer and just double click that that way it will not work we have to properly you know save them inside the Zem, the main folder and then we will go to htdocs and inside the htdocs we can either create a folder for these all files or we can directly save in the htdocs folder but I will just uh, prepare to create a new folder for these all tutorials like php underscore tutorials so this is my folder and inside this folder I will just go inside the folder and will uh, just say test.php test is the name of this file will be the name of this file and the dot php is the extension so that's mean the browser will know that this is a php script and the server will also consider this page i mean will recognize this page so just click save the file has been saved now you can see the both the tags are highlighted now the next thing is to just i will print a keyword or something on the page this test.php page so we can access this on the local host and I can show you the results so I will just say echo echo is basically a statement which we always use to print something I mean to show something on the browser so inside we can write inside the double commas or single commas like double commas or like single commas we can write inside this anything like any string any text value or any numbers and after that this semicolon is must semicolon should always be added to every statement you write inside the PHP so I will just say uh, hello hello earth hello earth I mean hello world everybody says hello world so I will say hello earth control s to save you can save this after you s have saved it permanently once then whatever you write you have to press ctrl s from your keyboard or you can save it from file menu here save now if I want to access this file I will just go to my here and just refresh this page and I will find the folder here you can see uh, uh, where is the folder basically there is the folder uh, but I n I know the name of that folder you know so I will just write the backslash after localhost then we will say php underscore tutorials 
this is my folder name basically php underscore tutorials so when I enter I will see index of php underscore tutorials and there is only one file inside that folder which is test.php so I can click this and when I clicked you can see hello earth hello earth that is the text we have given here in the inside the PHP so we can add an HTML tag to this hello world text uh, before and after so that's mean we can also add HTML tags inside PHP anywhere in the echo statement basically so control s to save now this hello earth uh, text will be a little bit b bigger so control s to save uh, sorry refresh and you see hello earth so we can use this echo statement again and again as many as we want I just copied and now paste it five times hello worth again once again so this is something we can do control is to save and come here refresh the page so all the text has been displayed on the page so this is very very basic structure of PHP we have written this without any HTML tag without anything but we can display HTML tags inside the echo statement now we can also write this uh, you know inside the HTML tag basically or if we just say body body so we can also write PHP here I will say echo BR tag I will add here so this will actually create a break li line break with these three lines after that now I will say oh this is another PHP script Control is to save and now come here refresh and you see this this is another PHP script simple text so we have learned that we can actually the basic syntax of PHP is that you have to write the first this one and then this take will be closed so inside this you can write any PHP script or anything you want uh, so we can uh, write inside the HTML outside the HTML wherever you want and you can also add HTML takes to echo statement in PHP now in the next lecture we'll talk about echo and print statements in particular